Hello, welcome to TechShimit. In this session, we will see another function of access client solution that is macros. So firstly, I will tell you what exactly the macros are and why we need macros. So macros are uh, the file that we can create from the access client solution that will uh, the extension of that file is Mac and this file is mainly used to record the input of the keyboard and the mouse. So suppose if we want to uh, rerun the same process again and again. So just for saving the time, we what we can do, we can record that function through macros and then we can easily reuse that, uh, recreate that process with the help of those macro file. So I will show you one example, uh, like how we can create macros and how we can play the macros. So suppose the scenario is that I want to re, uh, run some query for particular tables. So what will be the process for that? So suppose I have to go with the command strsql and I have to write the query select star from and then table name. So I need to rewrite these uh, or re, uh, need to process these steps again and again whenever I need to uh, see the data from any particular file. But I don't want to uh, go with all these steps. So what I will do here, I will record the macros for the same. So now I will show how to record that macro. So to record the macro, just click on this button that is record macro and then it will ask for the macro location. So either we can store the file into the current session or we can store the macros to the personal library. So here for now I am storing the macros into my personal library. So now I will give the name of my macro. So my macro name will be go to go to SQL. Okay. So I have created the macro with the name of go to SQL. Here we can also put the description, but for now I am leaving it as a blank. Now just click on OK. So it will show one hotspot. Uh, it will uh, show one pop up that says hotspot will be disabled while recording a macro. Once the recording stops, hotspot will be enabled automatically. So just click on OK. So now whatever process I will execute here, it will be recorded as a macros. So I will write the command str SQL. Now I will write the query select star from and I will not put the file name here because it will be conditional. Uh, it might be possible I need some other file at that time. So it will I will change that file name as per my need. But these until from uh, I need these steps to be executed whenever I click on the macro. So now I will stop the recording of macro. So just click on there stop playing or macro so it is recorded now now came out of the screen and now suppose uh, now i want to see that uh, record from any particular file so what i will do i will just directly i will not execute these steps again and again i will just click on this button play macro then i will execute the my mac file that is go to sql and whenever i click on this button it will take me to the that screen. So I am clicking here. So this file is automatically take me to the select the star from here. I can put my file name and then I can execute my process. So this is the advantage of macro file. So that we can record uh, that macro file we can use for any big process that we don't want to repeat again and again so what we will do we will record that macro and then reuse it later so i will show you one another example of it here uh, whenever we uh, want to log in into our air for under system so what we will do we will put our username and password again and again but i don't want to repeat these steps so for that i have recorded one micro so just click on my macro and I have created the macro as sign in. So whenever I click on OK button, it will take me to the system without asking username and password me from me. So I'm clicking here. OK. So here how it works. So directly it 
has taken me to the screen from where I can proceed for the further steps. So it is not uh, asking me for the user ID and password again and again because I have already stored this information into my macro. So yeah, that's all for, uh, the information I wanted to share in this session. So thanks for watching TechShamit.